Hi, in this particular video we're going to be solving a fairly tricky algebraic fraction. So this one, one of the difficulties with it is we've got this negative sign in the middle that's going to cause us a problem and also we've got this expansion here plus it's going to be equal to a fraction and what they're asking us to do simply is to solve this. Okay, so there's a couple of things I think we can do to begin to make our life a little bit easier. The first thing is I'm going to get rid of the brackets of the denominator of the second fraction. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to multiply them out. So I can write that as 5 over x plus 1 minus 3 over 2x plus 2 equals a half. OK, so when we are subtracting any fraction, we need to make sure the denominators are the same. And probably the easiest way to do that in this particular case is to multiply them together. So the bottom denominator for this fraction is going to become x plus 1 times 2x plus 2. Now the problem is, is because I've multiplied the bottom by 2x plus 2, I have to multiply the top. So I'm going to multiply that also by 2x plus 2. OK, then I'm going to minus and I've got to have the same exercise with this fraction. So the bottom is going to become x plus 1 times 2x plus 2. But because I've multiplied the bottom by x plus 1, I have to multiply the top by x plus 1 and that would be that one. Now we've got to be a little bit careful here because of this negative sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remind myself by putting in square brackets that I've got to do something with that negative sign and that's going to be equal to a half. OK, so let's carry on and see if we can develop this a little bit further on. I'm just going to move the sheet up the page a little bit. I'm going to move the sheet up a little bit. OK, so let's start now expanding this out and making it look a little bit more presentable. So I've got 5 times 2x plus 2. Well, that's going to be 10x plus 10. And again, that's going to be divided by x plus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 2. And that's minus, and I've got, again, my square brackets, 3x plus 3 over x plus 1, 2x plus 2, and that's going to be equal to a half. All right, that's fine. OK, let's start now getting rid of brackets, and let's see if we can bring these two together as a fraction. So the bottom now is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to leave that as x plus 1 times 2x plus 2. Now the top I've got 10x plus 10 and I've got minus 3x but don't forget that minus 3x or the minus also affects this plus 3 here so that's going to be minus 3 and that's going to equal a half. OK, and that's why those square brackets are in place, is just to remind me about that negative sign in the middle. OK, so let's tidy it up a little bit further. I've got 10x minus 3x is 7x, and I've got plus 10 minus 3. Well, that's going to be uh, plus 7. Divide that by x plus 1. 2x plus 2 again, and that equals a half. OK, so things are starting to get a little bit better now because the final point for us is we need to cross multiply and then solve by um, solving a quadratic equation. So the first thing is I'm going to cross multiply. What I mean by that is that if I multiply across, what I'm doing is I'm actually doing two steps in one okay so what I could do is I could have multiplied both sides by 2 to get rid of this denominator and then multiplied both sides by this to get rid of this denominator okay but instead I've chosen just to do it in one go so what I actually end up with is 2 times 7x plus 7 and that equals x plus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 2 OK, so it's starting to look a little bit better once I start to multiply this out. And what I've got is the beginnings of a quadratic equation. So 2 times 7x is 14x, and that's going to be plus 14, 
equals, and I'm going to multiply this out now, and we're going to get 2x squared plus 2x plus 2x is plus 4x, and then 1 times 2 is plus 2. OK, let's make now that equal to 0, and I think we're getting to the point where we should be able to solve it relatively easily now. So, if I make it equal to 0, 2x squared is fine, but I've got 14x here that I'm going to bring over to this side. I've already got 4x, so 4x minus 14x is going to be minus 10x, and then I've got plus 2. And I'm going to bring that 14 over, and that's going to give me minus 12. OK, let's make it a little bit simpler now by dividing through by 2. So that's going to give me x squared minus 5x minus 6. OK, and then really I just need to factorise that. Uh, so if I have minus 6, the two numbers that multiply together to make minus 6 and add together to make minus 5 are minus 6 and plus 1. So I can rewrite this as a double bracket of x minus 6 and x plus 1, which means my value of x is either going to be... Um, when x minus 6 equals 0, I've got therefore x equals 6. Or when x plus 1 equals 0, I've got x equals minus 1. OK, so the two values I've got for x would either be plus 6 or minus 1 in this particular equation. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. I hope you found it useful. Please do uh, comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.